Hey everyone, welcome to this beautiful spot. We, <laughs> we almost got tramp stampeded by sheep. That was a bit funny, you can hear them in the background. So here in the Pyrenees mountains and we're going to do a little bit of an active stretch. This is a really nice one to do, for example, like first time you, first thing you wake up in the morning, just to loosen up through the body. It's going to be short and sweet because sometimes it's all we need in the morning. So it's up to you, sometimes you can do long ones or short ones, but today's going to be quite short. So let's get moving. We don't need anything but your lovely selves. I would invite you to set an intention of how you would like to feel today and what can you focus on throughout this little stretch that can help you begin to feel that way for the day. So maybe it's to focus on your breathing to prepare for a lovely day, okay? So we're gonna start off with just a couple of sun salutations. So you already know already. So inhaling to reach on up high, lengthen through the fingertips, and then exhale, slowly coming down. So every movement is a different breath, gazing between the legs, walking the feet out, and then slowly walking the hands and feet out apart into downward dog. Press the chest down towards the thighs. Walk out the feet here. And let's just twist the hips from side to side. Oh, I'm cracking everywhere. Oh, I feel so good. Alrighty, so now we're coming into our upward dog. So you've got the choice of coming onto your knees. We can stay onto your toes as you slowly come down towards the floor. And then inhale to lift up nice and tall. Try and stay long through the crown of the head. You don't want to be arching too much through the lower back or hinging through the lower back. So you shouldn't have any pain there. And then curling the toes under and pressing back into downward dog again. Walking those feet out. Pressing the chest towards the thighs and then tiptoeing back to centre and looking between the legs to slowly roll on up. Whew, all right, this is going to warm me up. <laughs> all right, inhaling, reaching up with the sheepies and down. Gaze between the legs and slowly stepping it out into downward dog. Engaging the tummy here to support your back. Walk out the feet. Hopefully they don't knock over the camera. <laughs> and coming into your plank either on your knees or on your toes to scoop upwards into upward dog. Lengthen <laughs> lengthening through the crown of the head. Engaging through the tummy, relaxing those shoulders. And then pressing back into down dog again. This time we're going to just twist our hips from side to side. We're only going to go for two more. So tiptoeing those feet back to centre and gazing between the legs slowly coming on up. Oh, the colour of the sky is so beautiful. And reaching up and over and slowly folding down. Remember, you can keep the knees slightly bent if you need to. Gaze between the legs and then pressing back into down dog, walking out those feet. So as you start warming up, you might find you can move through things a little bit quicker with a little bit more ease. Rotating those hips, twisting side to side. And coming into your plank, either on your knees or your toes for your upward dog. Scooping through, lengthening through the crown of the head, shoulders back and down and chin slightly upwards. And on your exhale, pressing back into downward dog. Now, from here, I'm going to just bring one foot forwards into a bit of a lunge, drop the back knee. You can either go onto your fist or on, keep on your hand. You're going to twist, crack, crack, and reaching that arm up towards the sky, lengthening those fingertips up tall, circling the arm to the outside of the foot to reach up the other hand so you'll feel a little bit more restricted on this side it's normal and then coming back and then just sit back on the heel 
and then coming forwards bring the hand back between both both hands between the leg press back and let's do the other side okay so reaching the opposite hand up twisting lengthening those fingers towards the sky long deep breathing and circling circling the arm and bringing the other arm up lengthen those fingers circling the hand back and sitting on that foot or sitting back into the heel I should say long deep breathing and coming forwards and then dropping those knees to the side out wide and you're just going to reach back into a bit of a child's pose we're going to make it a little bit more dynamic though so reaching backwards sitting as close to your heels as you can and then as you come forwards you're going to reaching up arching a little bit through the back so it's sort of like a cat cow okay I'm a little bit on an angle here so I apologize if you can't see properly so gently arching through the lower back chin up towards the sky and then as you round your back you're going to press back into your child's pose to sit down and slowly inhale to scoop upward sort of like a kneeling upward dog creating just a small arch through the lower back and then as you round rounding through the spine you are melting back down onto those heels oops I'm losing the microphone okay so slowly arching on up gently arching through the back chin up towards the sky relaxing through the neck and shoulders and then rounding through the back to sit onto your heels and lengthen through the fingers and then coming into all fours we're going to go for something that is called a naughty kitten okay so a naughty kitten is sort of like we are rounding creating a circle with our head and our pelvis at the same time and it's really nice because we get movement in areas that we probably won't be getting through any other way so creating a big circle drawing a circle with the top of your head and the same circle with the pelvis so as you circle up you're arching through the back and as you circle down you're rounding through the back so you can take this one as slow as you want and be really intentional with every part of the circle now let's swap directions so circling the other way creating a big circle and you might notice it opens up areas through the midline of the body so through the side of the waist or through the back okay we got two more rolling on up very good okay now from here we're going back into a downward dog pressing back and then we're just going to tiptoe those feet forwards and sitting onto your bum so you can do it just a little bit for your back and then we'll be complete so slowly coming onto your back hugging one knee in straightening the other leg so you want to hug that knee closer towards the armpit so a little bit more out wide hugging there and just starting to rock from side to side with the knee this one's actually really good for massaging through the organs in the digestive system okay and then you're just going to bring that knee across to the opposite side of the body and just letting it fall wherever feels comfortable remember every move is a different breath and then supporting that knee to come back and swapping sides so hugging in one knee out wide to the armpit oh I'm falling off my mat oh 
Okay, hugging that knee to the armpit and just rocking it from side to side, massaging through those organs in the tummy. And then just dropping that knee across and letting it fall wherever feels comfortable. Or you can add a little bit of an assisted pressure on that knee. I'm extending my arm out wide. And then coming back to center and hugging both knees in. You can hug them wide to the armpits if it feels comfortable and you can rock from side to side. And then bring those knees and those feet together. You've got the option of doing this one either with your feet flat or you can have your knees up in tabletop. Keep your hands slightly out and we're just going to go from some side to sides for the lower back. So dropping those knees across to one side or lifting them up for a stronger stretch. Long deep breath. Return back to center, using the tummy to control the movement. And then again, twisting to the other side. Long deep breath. And then slowly bringing those knees back to center and just pausing, putting your hands on your tummy and closing your eyes. And let's just finish off with a few long deep breaths. So bringing your attention to your tummy, inhale, let the belly rise, exhale, letting the belly fall. And if you can, complete it all by the nose. This is setting you up for your day. You've already honored yourself and made yourself proud. So you're ready for what's next. Two more deep breaths. And when you're ready, you can hug the knees in and you can slowly rock upwards into your seated position. And that is our little morning stretch complete. Thank you for joining me. In this beautiful location and I will see you on the next video. Bye.